That said, uh, my closing is Angel Reese. Angel Reese, I've been talking a lot about Caitlin Clark of late, and that was a topic that we had in, in yesterday's podcast, unfortunately, which we did not add today. We will come back to Caitlin Clark next week and give her her flowers for breaking an all-time record. Um, Angel Reese, though, has been recently because she had her senior day at senior night at LSU, <clears throat> and she recently there's questions on whether or not she's going to turn pro or stay at LSU. Some people have mentioned transferring. I don't know why she have to transfer. She has an extra year. If she wants to come back. I think she should go back to LSU. I think she's going to make a truckload of money at LSU. They're dropping off the Brinks truck at her house to go play in the WNBA where the salary for the number one rookie, number one pick for rookie is 77,000. So she won't make 77,000. She'll be lower than that. She will be sacrificing so much cash for what to go play for 75 grand. She, she doesn't have the corporate sponsors that Caitlin Clark has. She doesn't have the type of game that would even command that there's too many big women. I'm going to say big women, I mean tall women, um, who she's six, three, she's very athletic. She's a great defensive player. She's a, she's a horse on the rebound and rebounding, but she can't shoot a lick like her. If you, if you go and watch a video of her shooting a, her jump shot from the elbow, it's, it's horrifying. It's, it's, it's Joel and Anthony type shit. <laughs> ben Wallace looking stuff. I mean, it's not pretty. And you're talking about going up against women like Asia Wilson and, and, and Tina Charles and John Jones and, and Brianna Stewart and Kaya Stokes and Satu Sabali and women like that who are who are big time and and they're bigger than her too, uh, and they're dominating in the in the paint. You know, I I think she can be a really good NBA, WNBA player, but I think she needs to balance her game out a little bit more because if all she can do is rebound and get putbacks, that makes her, that makes her Dennis Rodman. Oh, wow. And while that might be great. Well, that might be great in terms of you get respected 15 or 20 years later because Dennis Rodman made two All-Star games in like 17 seasons. He was not respected while he was playing. He gets a lot more respect today because I don't think he should be in the Hall of Fame either, like I told you. I think he was a great rebounder, the greatest said, rebounder yeah. ever. Yeah. You, I, I, Angel Reese. But it was, it, was, it was to the point of, yeah, if all you are is a defensive player, you're like you you'll be good you might stick around and the thing the problem is in today's WNBA there's mm-hmm. like 12 teams so that might not keep mm-hmm. you around this isn't the a 30 team league this is a 12 team league so there's not there were first round picks last year that got cut mm-hmm. like think about being a first round pick in the NBA and I, getting I, I, cut I think I think cut. she should stick around for a lot I, I think she should stay in school get paid. She'll make two plus million dollars staying in school. She will not make that play in the WNBA, not with salary and endorsements. Because let's be real, when was the last pair of female sneakers you bought, Nick? When did you last buy a pair of Candace Parkers or a pair of Brianna Stewart's or Ella, Don, Ella Delena Deladons? The, 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 the 30th of February. Yeah, never. So um, the, the endorsements are not the same. And she only she probably has more local. I've never seen her on a commercial. So, you know, that said, I, I think she should stay in school and um and, and make and get paid. Get paid. 